Good morning, people of God. Blessings to you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm happy to be here with you. I've missed you all. Let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts, likes, and I want you to share this on your wall today. I want to give you the prophetic word of the month for the month of May. Do you believe it? We're already in the month of Cinco de Mayo. Of course, we're Mexico, Game de Libertad, okay? But uh, today I want to talk to you about the prophetic word of the month of May. And I believe right now it is a season of a countdown to great harvest, okay? Who's ready for the greatest revelation of greatest Pentecost harvest to be released over you? So let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. I want to say I've missed you. Uh, it's good to see you. And, uh, you know, good to be in the house of the Lord together, virtually into space. And I believe May is going to be such a powerful month in your life. Can I get an amen? So give me some hearts and likes and let me know where you are watching from so I could give you some shout outs. Praise God. Let's get the viewers up. Let's get the numbers up. Uh, tag somebody. Share this on your wall. Let somebody know that Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is here with the prophetic word of the month from heaven to you. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from. I see here, Felipe Guzzi, bless you. Rebecca Torres, Prophet Sivana, Amy uh, Leniger Whitmer from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Naomi from West Covina, Kashika, Anthony. Lynette Messenheimer from Cape Town. Praise God. Regina Laviette from Louisiana. Come on, people of God, share this on your wall. Tag your friends. Let people know that Dr. Pastor Benlam is here to give you the prophetic word of the month for the month of May. Can I get an amen? Praise God. Violetta, blessings to you from Arizona. I might be in Arizona in the next few weeks, so catch me outside. Hello there, Amanda's son from Washington. Huh? Marjorie, blessings to you. Let me know where you're watching from. Praise God. Remember, expectation is the mother of miracles. So let's get our expectation high. Let's have a high level of faith and expectation for what God is about to do this month in the month of May. Praise God. This month of May, God has released some mega blessings. And I cannot wait to share this prophetic word of the month for you for this month of May, which is the countdown to Pentecost harvest. Someone say countdown. It is a countdown to Pentecost harvest. My goodness, this is gonna be a glorious month. So I cannot wait to go into the word of God and to go into revelation, to go into rhema, uh, and to speak to you about what you can expect in this month of May. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. Let me give some uh, shout outs to you. And uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna go right into this. Sherry, Houston, blessings to you. Mary Barwick, blessings to you. Dana says, count down to glorious harvest. Amen. Jesus, I feel the presence of God so strong already. Christy Trombley from Denver, Colorado. Praise God, someone say count down. Pamela Zenith Masi from UK, England. We got UK in the house. Tatum Jordan from South Africa, Cape Town. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Before we go any further, I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for every single person that is connecting with this word, connecting with this broadcast. I ask you for the fire of God to fall. And I ask you that we would catch this word. We will receive this word, that this word of countdown to Pentecost harvest would be mine. Some would say it is mine in Jesus' name. Some would say amen. So let me talk to you <clears throat> about this word for the month of May. Because this month of May is a countdown to Pentecost harvest. Some will say countdown to Pentecost harvest. So I want to talk to you about the countdown to Pentecost harvest. Because I believe in this month of May, we are about to see the greatest harvest that we've ever seen. A harvest of what? A harvest of souls? A harvest of finances? A harvest of miracles? Some will say harvest. A harvest of blessings? A harvest of open doors? divine appointments, divine contacts. So this month of May, <clears throat> it is a month of great Pentecost harvest. And pretty much in this month of May, right now we are in a season 
uh, of the counting of the Omer. Someone say counting, okay? Or as I, I like to say, the countdown. Uh, you know, recently, the last few weeks, I've been watching a lot of interviews, documentaries about Elon Musk, of course, the founder of SpaceX and Tesla. And uh, as I'm watching, just observing, learning, studying his life and just his mannerisms and just his mentality. And as I've been studying Elon Musk and you see SpaceX, the spaceship, this rocket getting shot up into space. There's a countdown. Some say countdown. Now, let me prophesy over you because you are in a countdown right now for the greatest showdown. You are in a great countdown for your mega harvest to manifest in your life. So much amen. So when there's a countdown, <clears throat> just like our Facebook Live broadcast today, there was a countdown, a 30-second countdown or 20-second countdown, I believe. There was a countdown. Some say countdown. So what does that do? There's a sense of urgency. There is a sense of anticipation. There's a sense of expectation. There's a sense of, you know, excitement where you're counting down for the blessing. What happens during Christmas? Although I don't believe in, in Santa Claus and even though St. Nicholas is a real person, actually, uh, but I don't believe in the pagan materialistic holiday of Christmas. Although, of course, Christmas, so many people in China, around the world, they come to Jesus. It's a perfect, powerful, opportune time to preach the gospel. Amen. However, uh, what happens when, uh, you know, you're a little child, a little girl, a little boy, and it's Christmas Day. You're excited. There's a countdown to wake up in the morning. Oh, did Santa Claus bring me my presents? Did I receive gifts from Santa Claus, from Jesus? Did I receive gifts from the Lord? Did I receive? So there's an excitement. So this month of May is a month of excitement. It is a month of counting down for your Pentecost harvest. Some say hallelujah. Some say Pentecost harvest. Why? Because really, this month, we're in a time called the counting of the Omer. So it's a counting of the Omer. And the Omer also means uh, accounting, or the Omer means wheat and barley harvest. So we're in a season right now from Passover to Pentecost. Hear me now. We're in a season from Passover to Pentecost. 49 days plus one, seven weeks of seven days plus one, which is 50 days. That's why Pentecost or Shavuot, the Hebrew feast, biblical appointed time, Shavuot, uh, that is the counting of the Omer. <clears throat> that is actually the time of barley and wheat harvest. That's the time for 50 days, hear me now, 50 days of counting where God begins to count your Omer. What does that mean? God begins to be an accountant, okay? Now I know right, we finished tax season. Some of you are probably still finishing off your taxes. But uh, in America, of course the IRS, you know, one of the biggest thieves in the world, okay? The Fed Bank, the Federal Bank, the National Bank, the International Bank, uh, the IRS, etc. But <clears throat> it's tax season. So what does that mean? That means that the government begins to audit or account or look into your accounting books. The enemy and God himself, hear me now, God and enemy is beginning to look into your books. Take account, is beginning to count, beginning to count down, beginning to look into your books for these next 50 days. For these next 50 days unto Pentecost, Pentecost is the climactic launching. Pentecost Shavuot is a climactic birthing, launching, blessing, breakthrough, the release, 49 plus 150 days of counting the Omer. So God is looking meticulously. Are you being faithful? Are you being holy? Are you being pure? Are you doing what's right? Roboshka, even, even if nobody else is looking, are you walking in integrity? Are you walking in righteousness? Are you doing what's right? Are you going above and beyond? Are you doing the better thing? And in these next 50 days, God is counting. Some say counting. And God is watching. Oh, I feel the power of God. God is counting. God is watching. And God is looking in for the next 50 days. So that in the climactic, pinnacle, final time, called Pentecost, there will be a an upper room birthing. There will be an upper room release. There will be the great harvest. So right now your blessings are being added up. 
your blessings are being stacked up. Come on, somebody. Either your curses or your blessings, your blessings or your curses, your sins or justice. The bowls of heaven are being filled up right now, and it's counting, counting, counting until the season of overflow. And I don't know about you, but I want a mega harvest. I want a Pentecost harvest. I want the more of God. If that's you, someone say amen. And I believe right now God is counting. That's why right now it's called the counting of the Omer. And it's not a coincidence that it's even a tax season in the United States and I believe in different countries. So God is counting the Omer. Why? Because as he's counting the barley, he's counting the wheat. Jesus. At Pentecost Shavuot is the barley harvest. Did you know that every seven all seven biblical times and seasons, appointed times of God, God appointments, God dates. These seven biblical feasts are all around harvest. Why? Because God is a harvester. God is all about harvesting souls. He's about harvesting nations. He's about harvesting the wealth of the wicked for the righteous. So God is a harvester. God is a farmer. That's why, you know, there's so many parables in the Gospels of Jesus talking about agriculture and farming and harvest. Amen. However, so right now we are in a countdown from April to May, Passover to uh, Pesach to Shavuot. We are in a countdown to Pentecost harvest. Someone say amen. And listen, I want to tell you right now that God is counting down to reveal and to expose he is counting down to reveal, to show the world what you've been doing in the secret place, to show the world what's been taking place. Can I get an amen? So it is the month of May. In the original biblical word is the month of E-R. So I'm going to say E-R. It is I-Y-A-R. So the month of May, right now, we are in the month of E-R. Okay, and a month of E-R, I-Y-A-R. The Hebrews believe that ER is an acronym for the verse, I am the God that healeth thee, which is Jehovah Rapha. So this really is a month where God is healing you and he's releasing healing mantles and a healing anointing. Even yesterday, open up the world, my goodness, there were miracles. People were receiving supernatural weight loss. Adrian, what did you think about seeing all that, huh? Yeah, it was just amazing. Being Talk the, out loud, it was amazing. Yeah, being the camera guy, just just zooming on each each uh, miracle that was happening. Legs growing. It was, Legs growing it was out. Amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Yes. So yesterday, God moved in miraculous healing. People were experiencing supernatural weight loss at our church service yesterday. It was powerful. Glory to God. But this month of May in the Hebrew is E R I Y A R, and that is an acronym. Okay, from the uh, verse from the word of God, I am the God that heals all your diseases. Can I get an amen? But I'm going to read the whole verse for you here because this is going to help you, okay? This is going to help you. Exodus 34, verse 29 to 30. When Moses came down, oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to read the whole verse here. Exodus 15, 26. If you will diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his eyes, and give ear to his commandments, and keep all the statutes. I will put none of these diseases on you, on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, your healer. Someone say amen. So in this month of ER, in this month of May, my goodness, someone say preach, Pastor Ben. In this month of May, in this month of ER, not only is God counting down for the harvest, but he's also releasing the ER anointing, which is the healing anointing, the Rapha anointing, the Jehovah Rapha uh, grace, where God is healing you of all your diseases. Someone but even right before this, even right before this, Jesus, the Israelites were thirsty, and they were thirsty and they needed water. So what did Moses do? Moses threw the piece of wood into the water. And the Bible says that the water went from bitter to sweet. Are you ready for your bitter to become sweet this month? Are you ready for your bitter 
to become better this month. In this month of May, God is turning all your bitter waters into sweet. If you receive that, give me some hearts and likes. Praise God. If you receive that, say amen. In this month of May of ER, God is throwing the wood. God is throwing the cross. God is throwing the power, the fire, the glory of God into the waters of your soul. And all the bitter is going to turn into sweet and better. Someone say amen. And right after that moment, God says, I will put none of the diseases I put on the Egyptians. I will put them not on you. I will only put my favor. I will only put my blessings. I will only put my miracle work in power. I will only put my grace my glory. Come on, people of God. I will only put my favor and my fire on you, say God. So this is a time of healing. <laughs> Shoo. Jesus, this is a time of healing. And this is a time of wholeness. Someone say wholeness. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. My goodness. People also say that this month of ER, of course, it's the month of healing. But people also say that this is also the month of radiance, of light, of illumination. Because in this month of ER, God began to provide the Israelites with manna. Someone say manna. Who's ready for supernatural provision? Who's ready for supernatural daily bread? Come on, somebody. God is giving you the daily bread. God is causing bread, money, finances, provision, supply to be manifested from the ground, from the earth. Every single day of this month, he will provide. He will give it to you. He will give it unto thee in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say hallelujah. So this month of ER is also known as the month of radiance, where you're going to beam with the glory of God. You're going to shine with the word of the Lord. You're going to shine with life, with joy, Woo! with happiness, with joy. My goodness. So this month is not is the month of healing, but number two, the second prophetic point. This month is also the month of happiness. I declare and decree happy Gilmore, <laughs> happy glory, happy joy. This is a month of wholeness and happiness, of joy, of health, of wealth. This is a month where you're going to radiate with the glory of God. Can I get an amen? You're going to radiate with joy, with glory, with light. The Hebrews also believe that ER also comes from the word or. It's related from the etymology or the foundational root word called or, O-R, which is also stands for light. Someone say, Jesus, shine upon me. Somebody say, Jesus, shine, Jesus, shine. And of course, this is the same month where Moses came down from Mount Sinai and his face began to beam and shine with the glory of God. Who's ready for a countdown of glory? Who's ready for a revelation of glory? Who's ready for a radiating glory, the illuminating exousia, the illuminating shakina, shakan, the illuminating doxa? Who's ready for that illuminating, radiating glory? My goodness, it's a countdown. God is about to reveal. God is about to expose. God is about to show up and show up. God is about to beam and radiate through you and through your life in this month of May in the name of Jesus. This month of May, ER, is a month of healing and it is a month of happiness. It is a month of wholeness and healing and health and wealth. Can I get an amen? If you receive it, say hallelujah. And once again, in this month of May, Jesus, it is a countdown to Pentecost harvest. So that is the third prophetic point, people of God. Harvest. Someone say harvest. All the seeds you have sown, you're about to harvest. All the prayers you've prayed, all the hard work, all the suffering, all the backlash, everything you've endured, every single thing that you've gone through, the nonsense, the drama, the trauma, everything you've gone through, get ready for a harvest. Get ready for a greater harvest. Get ready for a glory harvest, a double harvest. Get ready for a Pentecost harvest. And once again, from Pesach, Passover, to Shavuot, Pentecost, it's 49 days, seven weeks of seven days, plus one, so 50 days of Jubilee. Let me tell you, God is so good. 
God is so specific. Can I get an amen? God is so specific and God is so good. And some people say, Pastor Ben, how can God? It's like every month. You're Pastor Ben, every month you're coming up with these good words. I'm not coming up with it. I'm going into the realm of the spirit and into the realm of revelation, into the realm of God's heart above and beyond second heaven warfare. I'm going into the realm of the finished work, the realm of being seated with Jesus in the heavenly place. I'm going into that realm. And from that realm, I'm pulling out these truths. God is a good God and the devil is a bad devil. The devil is a sore loser. So let me tell you, you can expect blessings and good things from God every day, every month. The Bible says you'll be blessed in your coming, in your going, in the day, in the night, in the morning, in the afternoon. When you have your afternoon siesta, when you're sleeping in the midnight hour, you will be blessed. Blessings are coming down from every single direction and area of your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. So, of course, there's a blessing word. There's a prophetic word of blessing every month, every season, every day. Because God is good and God still speaks. Can I get an amen? Someone say hallelujah. I feel the glory of God. So this month of May. Get ready for Pentecost harvest, Jubilee harvest. Get ready for glory harvest, family harvest. Come on, somebody say harvest. What harvest are you believing for right now? Are you believing for financial harvest, a family harvest? Are you believing for foundational? What harvest are you believing for in the season right now? My goodness, my God. I call on the angels of harvest to come into your life right now. I call on the angels of harvest to surround you. I call forth the angels of breaker of breakthrough and the angels of harvest to surround you right now in this season as there is a countdown to Pentecost revelation, a countdown to Pentecost harvest. I declare and I decree over your life that God is counting down for the greatest Pentecost harvest. So you have two options. Either you stay and remain in unbelief and you stay offended and you stay in the bitter waters. Bitter, Mara in Hebrew. Bitter means Mara, which means complaining, being frustrated. Oh, Jesus. Being aggravated. Witchcraft. You could stay in the waters of Mara, witchcraft, complaining, aggravation, frustration, rebellious against God. Or you can manifest and turn into the waters of sweet blessing, the word, the honeycomb, the grace, the presence, the love of Jesus. It's your choice. How do you want to count down? How do you want to prepare for Pentecost? How do you want to count the Omer? Remember, this is a season where God has taken account. And in Pentecost Shavuot and Pentecost Sunday, is actually in one month, in the month of June. So I believe it is going to be a June of Jubilee justice. <laughs> but from today, ER, May to Shavuot of Pentecost, we're in 50 days, someone say 50 days. 50 days of counting down for your full release. 50 days of counting down for your full blessing, for your full Pentecost upper room, boom, boom, birthing, where the church was birthed. We are in 50 days right now. You know, from Pen from Passover, hear me now. What, you know, Jesus, Yeshua, was crucified on Passover. Yes, Jesus was crucified, Yeshua, the Lamb of God. The Pesach Lamb, Jesus was crucified on the cross on Passover. Of course, three days later, he rose again. And the Bible is very clear that for the next 40 days, hear me now, for the next 40 days, what did Jesus do, Adrian? Jesus began to appear to the disciples, began to appear and show them the scars. Hear me, follow me, people. He, oof, he began to show them the scars and he began to teach them and talk with them and dine with them and just encourage them for 40 days. Yes, 40 days. That was, uh, I believe, that was the same time Moses was in Mount Sinai for 40 days. And then the next 10 days, what happened? At the end of 40 days, Jesus ascended and he said, stay in Jerusalem 
until you receive the promise of the Father. And scholars believe that the disciples were in the upper room for 10 days. And then the fire fell. And at Pentecost, poof, glory fell. My goodness, I'm saying all of this to you right now. Because God is about to release a great glory. It's all connected. The biblical feasts are all connected with Jesus. They reveal Jesus. Jesus is the fulfillment of the biblical feasts, of the biblical times and seasons. So I declare harvest over you. Someone say, hallelujah. I feel the glory so strong. It's so heavy right now. Jesus, you are in a countdown to Pentecost harvest. And let me tell you, I want to prophesy some things to you right now. In this month of accounting, of counting down, there's going to be a lot of shaking, a lot of shifts, different unfortunate shifts, sifts. Things are going to take place. Things are going to shift and sift in this month of May. Do you know why? Because not everybody can be with you in the upper room of Pentecost harvest. So God is counting. Shoo! God is counting and he's sifting. He's sifting with the threshing floor this month. Praise God. But there's joy in the pressing. There's healing in the pressing. There's wholeness. There's health. And there's harvest. Jesus, what a what a word, Lord. Thank you, Father. So even in this month, there's going to be shifting, sifting, certain things, certain people. Things are going to happen where things are going to get loosed and released. However, it's also a preparation, hear me now, and a purification of your heart. Getting you ready for Pentecost glory. Getting you ready for the release of the baptisms of fire. I want to pray for you right now, people of God. I want you to lift up your hands right now, wherever you're watching from. I want you to give me some hearts and likes, and I want you to share this on your wall. But I want you to lift up your hands in this place as I pray this over you. God, I thank you for Pentecost harvest. I thank you that the harvest will not be nullified, will not be null, will not be delayed, it will not be withheld. But I thank you that the harvest is being released. I thank you that the bowls of heaven are being tipped over, over the life. And I declare, I decree in this month of May, in this month of ER, ER, which also stands for or which means light and radiance. I thank you that you are illuminating. You are shining light. You're exposing haters. You're exposing secret D Delilahs and Jezebels. You're exposing secret Judases. Lord, I thank you in this month of ER. There's going to be a shifting and a shaking, but it's a preparation for Pentecost harvest. And I thank you that as the countdown begins, as the counting down, the counting of the own, I hear God saying, I'm going to count you as righteous and worthy before my eyes. I will no longer count you as a sinner, as a wicked person, but I will count you as a worthy righteous person before me, before my eyes, says God. Hallelujah. So Lord, I ask you for the fire of God. I ask you for the blessing of God. I ask you for jubilee justice. I ask you that you would turn their mara waters, their bitter waters into sweet. I declare unto you every bitter area, every bitter memory, every bitter relationship Every bitter moment and circumstance, God is turning into sweet. God is returning it. He is restoring it. There's going to be recompense and restoration. I am the God that healed thee, says the Lord. I will put none of those diseases on you. I will put none of those definitions, demarcations on you. You're blessed. You're healed. You're whole. You're holy. You should have broke a terabranda. This is a month of harvest, healing, and happiness and joy. Who's ready for the countdown? Jesus. Who's ready for the countdown of revelation? If you receive this word today, say amen. If you receive this word today, say hallelujah. I need some people to say hallelujah. If you receive this word today, say amen, amen, and amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. This month of May, this month of ER, you're going to do it, Lord. If you receive it, say amen. And even those who are suffering physically and mentally in your bodies, I commend healing over you right now. Jesus. Healing of generational infirmities, healing of generational curses, healing in your blood, healing, Jesus, in your body, healing in your DNA, in your chemical imbalances. I speak healing, creative glory miracles to manifest in your life. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Someone say, I receive healing in my family, healing in my body, and healing in my finances. Somebody say hallelujah. People of God, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you were blessed. And if you received the same, man, I want to make some announcements here. And then we're going to close off here. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you for joining. I love all of you. I've missed you. I had a wonderful time, vacation, to the last few days. But I'm back, and May is going to be a very blessed, busy month. And I can't wait to see you for one of our virtual events, online events, or in person. So, uh, of course, uh, our first event I want to make note of, I want to share with you, is our uh, next webinar, actually. Or as our team members like to call them, Zoominars. Our next Zoominar is... Uh, May 16th, Monday, okay? it's We're going to talk about the anointing. My goodness, we're going to talk about what is the anointing, how do I grow in the anointing, uh, how do I experience the anointing, how is the anointing different from gifts or from the glory. So join this webinar. You do have to register, but it's going to be worth it. Remember, you need to invest into your life. You need to invest into your spirituality, all right? So if you're interested, curious about growing more, going deeper in the anointing, then this webinar is for you. So go ahead and register at bendthemglobal.com. And our next uh, announcement event I want to make note of is our May conference, okay? Our May conference is literally uh, in, wow, it's in two weeks, two and a half weeks, okay? Uh, Open Heavens Apostolic Voices with myself, uh, Apostle Chasden Strickland, and Dr. Prophetess Jolene Whitaker, and uh, of course, Apostle Chuck Pierce is going to be zooming in live, uh, or he's going to send us a video, okay? So listen, people are flying in, driving in from everywhere. You need to be here at this conference. It's going to be so powerful, all right? And if you're not able to come, then I invite you to register to be a part of the private online group, okay? To watch it privately and to watch it with our different online community, amen? And right after that, I'm going over to Hawaii. Who needs a vacation? I think you do. I need a vacation too. <laughs> I need a vacation on a vacation I just had. Uh, but uh, so right after that, we're going to Hawaii with my good friends, uh, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins, okay? The twin prophets. So that's gonna be awesome. So, uh, so join us there in Hawaii, Oahu Island with my good friends, Dr. Hakeem Naeem Collins for Greater Glory Hawaii. And also in the month of July, we're going back to Hawaii. My goodness, we are going back to Hawaii in the month of July with myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp, and Jake Hamilton, worship leader, artist, musician extraordinaire. So that's going to be in July in the month of July in Hawaii as well, okay? And last but not least, I want to talk to you about our Route 66 revival because the whole month of June, I am going to be focused uh, in this Route 66 revival, the whole month of June, okay? And uh, the whole month of June from June 1st, literally we're a month away, June 1st, to 4th of July, we're going to go for seven states, 13 cities, doing tent revivals across America along Route 66. So it is a very big project. It's probably my biggest assignment for this year. So pray with us, uh, partner with us, 
If you're interested in financially partnering, if you're interested in being a part of it, then please go on the website and do join us. Can I get an amen? Lord, I thank you for our friends today. Bless them abundantly like never before. I thank you for the countdown to Pentecost harvest. Someone say hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Please share this on your wall. And thank you for watching. And I also want to invite you to give my page a like and a follow. And also to hit the bell button to be notified whenever I come on live. Because I do come on live often, frequently, every week. And of course, follow me on social media, on TikTok. We started the TikTok uh, clubhouse, <laughs> Twitter. I'm going to get on Twitter and Truth Social this week. But God bless you, love you, and happy May. Until next time, friends, God bless.